Hi everybody, it's Misty with A Unique Treasure. Welcome back to my channel. It's been a little while since I've done a video. Had a lot going on, taking care of my mom, um, and very blessed to do so. I do want to though come on and share this beautiful baby girl journal for Sadie that I just completed and I want to get it shipped off today. Um, it It's not directly for the mom, well, it's for the mom of Sadie but it is a gift that somebody else has commissioned me to make for her. So without further ado, let's go ahead. I do want to just say ahead of time, um, this came off Pinterest. The main digitals that I used is from Studio 28E. It is from our Sweet Baby Girl Pink Digital Journal Kit Collection. And you can go to Etsy to Studio 28E as an elephant to get that because it's one of the best ones out there. And then the other collection that I did use is one of my favorite um, digi makers and it's Dreams Etc. So those are the main. And then I did also use a, um, I used a little bit of paper from a pack that I got from Joann's. So and it was actually quite expensive. They're $25. I got the little girl and little boy, but I did get it on sale. However, um, it, but they're more, those, those packs are more company packs. They're not like main journal kits like you would get from Studio 28E and Dreams, etc. So without further ado, let me go ahead and um, come on here and share this with you. Uh, I didn't even think to measure this journal. Let me grab my... measuring stick here <laughs> it's it's uh this is about nine and a half by let's see where this ends almost like seven and a half uh, is the cover of course the papers are just slightly um i just made them slightly smaller this was made to have um three signatures but I put so much in there actually when I painted the pages as you'll see in a minute um, I it expanded the pages so the book kind of stood on its own and then this is just gorgeous I love this this is so simple so gorgeous and she wanted shabby chic so that's what she got this is actually going up on an angle I don't think it shows that well and uh, I didn't go dramatic angle I just went the way it wanted to lay this is something we uh, purchased off of Etsy, but it comes like a shawl and it's so it's, it is already on an angle and it's really tiny. So I'm not sure, you know, if this was a mistake uh, because we usually order things by the big yard, but this is the way this seller sells it. So when my mom purchased this, I did see and I'm like, wow, how perfect would that be? So, you know, that's. It's shabby chic. I love, love this, how this turned out. This is something somebody would normally throw away after cutting things off, but you see how I used it. I just looped that around and then we have some dangling there and my little poor flower is bent. Okay. Anyways, several layers going around this uh, beautiful little girl and this little girl kind of looks like Sadie. Gorgeous. Um, I put a little dangle here um, throughout it. The dangles are mainly held on with the gold little safety pins you know signifying that's how we used to do diapers and safety pins not me i never did that but other people have and then i wish that i could take beautiful gorgeous pictures and show you guys these uh, because this just looks so gorgeous from the side and this book you know has plenty of room i could push it down really good it has plenty of room uh to for mom to add stuff in i took um i doubled up on the, uh, my mind's not going to work now, <laughs> uh, the seam binding and use this. When you open it up, this is part of that beautiful collection here, the little girl collection. And I just took um, some cardstock, embossed it, and then put this together and sewed down here. And here I took, this actually was part of a garment um, we got like three or four of them off and I used it to create this front page. I decided not to do a pocket on this. I just wanted it to be stunning and beautiful. Mom can put a picture here um, or whatever she wants to do with it. I did create a little packet for her 
um, to, I'm trying not to touch it. I'm so sorry. I always want to just touch everything. And I've been watching a lot of videos where a lot of us do that and it's kind of annoying me. So <laughs> I need to stop annoying myself. Um, however, uh, a lot of positive energy went into this. Not that it just says something negative. I want to say, you know, I pray over my journals. I speak good things into them. Uh, a lot of positive hopes and wonderful thoughts and, you know, special moments, you know, went into this, uh, so mom can really have something to cherish because we all know when we have new babies, I've had six of them, uh, new babies. It's just such a special, special time. And I want to capture that. So this book took me, um, now you have to remember, I have a lot going on at home, but this book took me three and a half weeks to do. So, all right. And there's two signatures because the third one I couldn't fit in here. I chose to leave this page like it is because this I just love this I fell in love with this I I want this to show um, this I went on mom's Facebook and I was able to pull off mom doesn't know me uh, so uh, anyways I was able to pull off images um, and I used a lot of the images throughout this book so of course it says you know before you were born I loved you and there's mom holding her baby right after she had the baby girl and I did stitch around there you'll just see I'm going to try to you know keep my hands out of it so much and uh, let y'all see the details I, there's a lot of detail work in here um, this is of course is a pocket it's a flip up this is um, held down by a tiny little uh, clip that I'm not going to try to put back on here sometimes it works easy sometimes it gives me a problem this is the front and back. Here is the birth announcement that mom had on Facebook and we just printed it out. We, my mom, I had her print it out for me and I cut it out. And I was trying to do something really cute with this little card and it just kept getting uh, to where I, I didn't want it. I didn't like it, but I couldn't ruin this. <laughs> so I went ahead and just kept adding, adding, adding until it got to be something I, I liked. And so here, this is just, you know, one of those cards. It's beautiful. Chevy Chic, we're going for. That's the look we're going for here. So I'm just going to add this in here right now and go back and change it. I did want to, you know, I, I just didn't want to cover that up. I know it'd be smart. A lot of people would probably stuff this with lots of stuff, but I decided this is not for me to do. This is for mom to do. You'll notice a little detail ribbon work I did here going down. Um, a lot of these beautiful tabs my mother made uh, for me to help me out with this book uh, and incorporate. So I picked all the fabrics and she made these little tabs. Um, writing space. I was trying to leave a lot of writing space. Mom can cover it up, you know, again, do what she wants. More tabs on, over here. Here is a pocket um, so that she can... I was going to put some writing paper in there, but again, I'm trying not to put so much in here that she thinks she has to keep in there just so that I can make it look like, hey, I put something in this pocket. And then here is, um, I, I just love this. See, simplicity to me is amazing, and I just love this. And this actually is a little heart. And you see I painted all of the um, paper, and I went around and stained it lightly with pink, uh, pink and... Um, the tea, the tea dye, I can't think of what it is now. You know, the, the main thing I wanted to say was where the digitals came from, because that is so important. I spent hours and hours on Etsy, just on the internet, trying to find the digitals I want, because I'm very picky, and this is how I envision things. So thank goodness for Cher Cheryl, excuse me, Sherry, um, from Studio 20 AE uh, with her beautiful digital kit that she put out. I, I got the blue one too. And because I'm going to make, I'm going to make several more of these. Uh, stitching all the way around. Here's more beautiful images. Um, you know, beautiful dangles throughout the whole entire book and on the outside. And then here's a tag. I just love this paper. This is from the collection from Joann's. Uh, the um, pack that I got, and this feels like fabric, but 
I did some of that beautiful white stitching that's, you know, people do straight stitch. I've seen it. When I say people, it's because I've seen it from other, I've been inspired from other YouTubers. Then they do the zigzag. It's just very light. I didn't want anything that says BAM. This is something that you're not going to see throughout here, this color, a lot. Um, but I decided to pop some color so it's not just so bland the whole time. Here's her name again. Here's a picture I pulled off of Facebook, and it is the baby's feet. That is just so adorable. Isn't that gorgeous? Just so, I just want to touch those toes. I love babies. Um, actually, I think I missed something here. I did uh, back here real quick, and that's because I didn't put anything in it. I need to. There's a pocket here, um, and then you'll see that there's it's. I always want to enforce these sides. This actually has tape in it here, um, glitter tape, but I always want to enforce the sides here so that you know there's a pocket here and it doesn't rip on you. And ladies, this I used, I needed hearts and I just punched out some hearts and then I ended up using the paper I punched out the hearts on. So we can try to utilize everything uh, that we have. I'm, I'm really learning. I, I watch, I do watch hours and hours and hours and hours of YouTube. I don't copy people, but I do get it so inspired. A um, lot of big floppy dripping laces and fabrics. And then this I uh, put in here. This is a little pocket that she can use. Um, I just, this is a, a tag that I just, you know, this is a punch. And then I left the paper extra long. I folded it up because this is the opposite side. So I folded it up and I flipped this over and punched it. And then I just sewed the sides. So there's a little pocket for whatever she wants. And then so they're coordinating tags. And just I, this is my favorite thing to do. I love, love, love shabby chic and vintage. And then these are from that paper pack. This is from that paper pack. No, this isn't from that paper pack. Look, it's so good. It's so done well. I don't, I can't speak today, but, but um, this is a stamp that I purchased and it is on clearance at Michael's for 22 cents, 22, 27 is 20 some cents. That stamp right there. And I just had my mom pay for watercolor pencils and she did some sparkly to the heart. So, and then I just added it to this pocket with, once I learned how to tie these bows, you know, by wrapping around and then you, you know, lay, you lay one straight piece of um, ribbon and then you take this and you wrap it around however many loops you want, take it off, lay it across that ribbon, and then you, of course, tie the ribbon through the hole, lay it this way, and then you lay your loops, then tie it. And then you have these gorgeous bows and you can take them out and fluff them. This seam binding does not have to be this crinkly. I happen to love it for this look I'm going for. Um, but I did, you'll see, I used other things. This is shabby to me, um, you know, pieces of fabric and that are, you know, have the, um, we beat them up a little bit with our fingers and pull them and that kind of thing. I just love it. Thank you for asking me to do this, Jane. Um, more tabs here. There's mom, dad, and baby, and she's a princess. So I put the little carousel down there. And then here's brother, and, and here's the brother and the, and the Sadie. And this is just clipped on. So I took it to where if she wants something else on here, she could take this off. And I just tied some ribbon around here and put what she wants here and place this somewhere else. A lot of this I started uh, thinking, you know, hey, I need to not put permanently so she can change this around. I'm just trying to inspire her. Uh, here's some, you know, writing space, some more beautiful um, tabs. Uh, here is a bookmarker. She can, I, I backed it so she can actually write on it. This is a bag that I decorated and some just beautiful um, imported lace. And then here is, uh, this is from the uh, paper pack uh, that I got from Joann's. I've had tons of these and I just 
decided to do this with it. And this little, I can't remember where this came from. This isn't, this is from a digi kit, but it's not the ones I told you about. Um, I'm going to put it in the link below because it's important that I give everybody credit where I got stuff from. But I obviously, oh, I know how I do this. See, because I put these here and I don't want to ruin these. I put it on top first, then I put them in, and then I move them around. Okay, this is the first thing I actually did in this book. Um, this was inspired by uh, Boho Daydreams, um, Sheila Gingrich. Uh, she did this in a something similar to this in a um, beautiful, beautiful Amore. It's called Amore journal that she I purchased from her and I I just loved it so this is the first thing I did based on that and then um, here is beautiful Sadie I think mom would like a boho uh, thing because everything I've seen her in is bright colors and you know this is her second baby so usually after the first one we're not so everything's got to be pink but I am I had four boys and two girls and I can tell you that everything was pink <laughs> and then what's funny is see, she's in blue. My fifth child is a girl and she, I put her in so much blue when I was looking at the pictures, I was like, wow, I, but they're beautiful like blues, like this dress and this headband, just gorgeous, very feminine, but still. Okay. So this is the part that, um, I went, sorry, um, uh, my phone's on cause, uh, family stuff. Um, this is the part that I wanted to talk about because I am going to do, um, start doing more baby things and, uh, and it's because I see there's a need out there really. Um, there's a lot of baby cakes, baby stuff that's like that online, but not a lot of baby journals. So this one's extravagant and this one is more on the high end. I am going to though, take this kind of creativity and downsize it and make different price point books but I'm going to do add-ons. So that means that I'm not going to add a bunch of stuff in here that costs money and people will be forced to buy it or say, wow, I can't really afford that. They'll have a choice. So we purchased these beautiful pens online and I am going to sell them as an add-on if I can get the box open. Um, my mom already snatched one. Uh, for herself. They write beautifully, actually. Um, this was actually, I only wanted to get one because I wanted to make sure they wrote well, uh, but they do. She surprised me and she said, I went ahead and purchased them for you. So these are going to cost $4 for an add-on and there's gold and there's um, gold, rose gold, and then the ones with the dots. They have a bunch of other ones that are uh, really brightly colored, but um, that's not what I'm looking for. So they're just absolutely stunning. They're, they're gorgeous, right? And you turn them here and shut them. So here we go. This is a little pocket. I just love the little pocket. I didn't know what I was going to do with that little pocket, but now I know what it can be. And I don't think a pen always has to be in the front of the book. So um, if she chooses, I'm, I'm talking, uh, I sent pictures already. I'm waiting on a response. If she chooses, she will purchase this pen for $4 and we will stick it in there. And that will be, you know, and of course, when you open it up, it's going to, um, create a space because of the diamond head. And this is just, this is stuck in here. This is a uh, Martha Stewart. Um, all her stuff is 70% off right now at, um, Michael's. Okay. So did some embossing, did some layering. I had something under here that I didn't like so well. I do that a lot. I go back and go, Hmm, that's not good enough. So I went back and added, uh, some more stuff on here to where I liked it. Um, some more, I, I made a, a fabric, um, pocket. I just put the beads how I wanted them. Uh, this, is I don't remember where this is from. I print oh I did buy another uh, kit that's just only paper like this, and so these these ones that I don't know I will have to um, actually get back with you 
or I had my Etsy open to make sure that we knew about uh, Studio 28 because that was, it should, you have no idea what my journey was trying to find exactly what I wanted. So um, you're going to see some things from my porch prints, a couple things in here from the uh, watercolor wild, wildflower paper. And you are going to see the white French lace paper doilies from Ann's Buttons and uh, Ann's, it says Ann's Buttons and Bows, I think. There's something over it. Uh, I think it says Ann's Buttons and Bows. And then we got paper the background i just want to do this really quick while i have my etsy open um i have then the it's haj design papers um that's where this came from so that's the in the shabby shades of pink collection maybe i have some done in here so i just wanted to make sure i gave credit i just thought this was really cute there's a little cross on here uh, these are just complimentary. This is from that paper pack from Joanne's. I put the flowers down there though. And here's that. And then this is from that paper pack. Here is, um, this is so cute. Um, I, I think these things are awesome, but they don't lay right. Uh, I'm so picky about that stuff. And here, I want you to see this. It's so adorable. It's so, it's a little star and it's just so cute i'm really getting into doing these beads and that's another thing that boho daydreams um sheila gingrich really her her site has really inspired me to do i uh, did just go ahead this is from uh, studio 2080 her paper her pack her digitals not this but this look at that isn't that just gorgeous i mean come on this is just so beautiful and then here is more from um, this. I don't even know where this came from. Oh, this did come from another paper pack. Looking at the back of it now, I know. <laughs> and here is just paper uh, from that paper pack, that too. I did this with a die cut. Here's a tap. This is from a studio. Is this studio? Wait a minute. This might be Dreams, etc. I think that one's Dreams, etc. I'm not sure. And I just fussy cut these out of the paper and put it on here. And then here's another beautiful tangle. And then I added this pocket in yesterday. I don't know, I flipped through this and I keep wanting to do more to it. So I added this pocket, this, and just sort of, you know, matching tag. I just love doing stuff like this. It's like one of my favorite things to do here. I just love creating. And you'll see that this paper I threw in um, I didn't paint it <laughs> so there you go oh i put this here this can be removed however this is a altered paper clip that i was going somewhere else with it and it ended up being just what it is and i left it that way and there it is so she could take that out keep it in here i wanted her to have more writing space and i'm gonna have to probably work this out because i just freshly did this yesterday here we go and you cut the things off and so it's just um avocado dyed paper and it's i just sewed across there and made a little pad for her more of my favorite thing to do with beads this is from the watercolor for my porch prints i wanted her to have a writing board and i didn't want to put anything i did want to put a lot of stuff on it but this is where i left it um, because it was driving me crazy that it had nothing. Uh, but look at that. Isn't that paper amazing? This is the watercolor one. 
this is um, more watercolor, but it's just got a little bit more definition. It is just so beautiful. I am in love with this paper. And I just put this, made this thing here to be able to hold it and added that on there. That's from my porch prints. So this is the second signature. You see, I could sew another one in here, but it would not, the book would be like this. It would just be so huge. So I put this here and then I, this is what I did with this one, this beginning opening of this signature. And this is like a butterfly. I am growing and changing and finding my true colors in life. I am finding my wings so I can fly and soon be on my way. And I wanted something this to me, I started out with frames and other things. And I was just like, I put this on here and I was like, that's stunning. She's just, it's just this beautiful, delicate baby. And I just wanted to leave it like that. And I thought this was pretty neat too. This little pink, the little butterfly antenna is bent. Let me fix that. There we go. Much better. Okay. More writing space. I thought this was really neat. Um, I could see in my mind some really cool things being done with putting photos here. This I had a lot of fun with. This took me a while to do. And as you see, this is from Friends Etc. I think. Oh, I need to stop. <laughs> this is from a paper pack I got online. Um, I cut the um you know it was a it was a signature paper actually and i cut it and i actually did um i took one of those pointy you know you just do the point punches and this side you'll see is longer than this side but it's the way it came it's a it came out it i can't explain it so anyways, and I didn't recognize it until I started doing this part here. So you see, you see I did the pearl, uh, the water, they're called water pearl pearls. They're real pearls. A lot of stuff is real in here. A lot of stuff isn't. And then here is just the gorgeous stuff. I, I'm just so thrilled with these fidget kits. I took a tag and then I, I backed it so that she would have more writing space. And I just thought that was so cute. Here's some more from uh, Studio 28. I'm going to take this off and this is the back of this envelope. And look at that. Isn't that just precious? This is a vintage envelope, and I'm saying that because they're very old. They're so old that I had to um, take cardstock. And I know we have to do this a lot when we um, do embossing, but I'm telling you, you see these, these are holes where these little flowers were starting to pop out. So I had to quickly put cardstock in there to support the envelope so it wouldn't fall apart but this just turned out so precious. And this is the other side. And when you open it, ta-da! <laughs> I just thought that was so cute. And then I just, I stuck some extra stuff in here. Um, I was gonna make an, an additional something I won't talk about, but I didn't get to that. And I just, some of the ephemera from the paper pack so she can do what she wants with it. I'm gonna put Sadie up front. And I will just leave this here for now. And then I just, on the blank papers um, or things that had, you know, paper clip, I just added some of these on there so it wouldn't look just like a paper clip there. And I, and the reason why it's paper clipped, again, I want to leave it loose so that she can move things in and out of the book. This is one of those just over the top page holders. Playtime. <laughs> Some more beautiful lace. 
I had a whole nother idea for this, but by the time I let the stickles dry, I forgot what it was. <laughs> I should have when I had everything placed because I place everything before I glue it or sew it. Um, I should have took a picture of it. So, but it turned, it still turned out good. And again, I kind of, isn't she precious? Look at that. And I, I wanted this to do this. I wanted it to go deeper so she can put more in there and not just be stuck with only using this much space. <clears throat> can I will we see her face? As I got back towards the end of the book, you know, the, the second signature. I um this is so precious. This is the middle. Now I left this long. I'm gonna leave her a note so she can put dangles on here or she can cut it. If she wants to. First little shoes, how sweet. Cutest button. And this is just on there, like so. She can take it off again. And more tabs. I put that frame I was talking about earlier. This is really neat though. Um, I love this. This is um, from this. My mom makes these little prissy pockets, and I said, Hey, can you make me something that maybe they could put the first, you know, haircut tooth in or something? And she did. And then I said, Well, why don't we fold this over and make a pocket? And she did. And so it's, a, it's very durable, and she can put some keepsake in here. And then I took. Um, paint and kind of whitewash that a little bit. Which I'm just going to leave this stuff out so you're not spending time putting things back. And um, so if I think that something needs the extra something, I just do it. So this one here, I put the dangle on there and I'm like, that's pretty and all, but. I don't know it just kind of bothered me and so I made this out of a clip that I got inspired by ooh la la uh, ooh la la treasures vintage ooh la la wow my mind's really not working today I know y'all know who I'm talking about um she made these and I was like oh so we ordered some of those clips and I made a bunch of those I like them better than using altar paper clips I don't know why I just do. And then this is a uh, flip over, beautiful image. Another beautiful image top here. And then this, I just took one of those doilies and I folded it over. And I got this idea from Bella Vintage Cottage. And she takes frames and she keeps them open so you can slide pictures in and out. But I put this behind here permanently. I just thought that was beautiful. And then that's it. That is this beautiful, beautiful, shabby chic baby journal that I made. And I'm so pleased. To do this for the special baby and the special person who trusts me to make something so wonderful for her friend anyways i hope y'all have a wonderful day be expecting more from me coming up i'm going to be making more uh, smaller journals not something so big and elaborate and um i do do special orders i take special orders i um, and i can work with anybody um on what their needs are so anyways, I really certainly appreciate your time. Make sure that you please like this video, uh, subscribe if you choose to get more of my videos, and hit that notification bell. A lot of us subscribe to so many people, but we don't you know, really get to see their videos because we're not notified. Um, and I hope you all have a marvelous day. You deserve it. Thanks.